What the hell is this place? Why am I everywhere? Excuse me? Yes, what's up? Where the hell am I? You're in your eternal torment, of course. But why are there so many of me? They're all me. The Enchantress did handpick out everyone's punishments that goes in the tubes. Maybe yours was this. I don't understand. How is this punishment? It's just me after me after. How can I assist you, Claudine? Uh, nothing. Don't worry about it. What the hell is the point of all this? We're here waiting, but the problem is, we wrote someone's name in the spell book to bring them back to life, and no one has come back. I don't even know whose name Marisol wrote in the book. Maybe we should look around the school. We should go to the evil. Miss Goodman's right, let's go. Your real name isn't Miss Goodman, is it? Smart girl. Listen, I'm undercover at the moment. Well, I figured that. Anyways, I beg of you to keep my identity a secret. I know where your cousin is. You know about Rosabella? Is she okay? She's all good. Just make sure you don't blow my cover and you'll get to see her soon. Sounds good. Abby is pissed. Why don't we have anything useful? Abby is staying up all fucking night and I can't sleep. Utter bullshit. Help me, please. I will beat her up. The giant. She, she's killed my PE class. What's your name, sweetie? My name is Rosalia! And this insane giant just killed my class! Don't worry, we'll help you. Take us to the PE gym. No, you don't understand! She's so scary! I've had enough of this bullshit! You will take us to that PE class! <laughs> now this bitch is crying! I said you will fucking take us! Okay, fine, follow me! I mean, Abby is getting us somewhere, but she's doing it very aggressively. <gasps> you, the escapee. I should have finished you when I had the chance. Guys, look at a belt. It's a gold object. Rebecca notices a shield on the giant's belt. Nice, giant lady. Can we please have your belt? This belt was a gift from the Enchantress herself. What makes you think that I'll just give it to you? Maybe because you'll fucking listen to me and my big chancer. Ugh. Or maybe because we can make a deal. Now I'm listening. How about this? You prepare a challenge that two of us will have to go into. The winner will get your shield. And you can kill the loser. Hmm, I like the sound of that. It's a deal. Now I want you all to go back where you came from and decide on two people to join my challenge. Time to do some voting. What? Cedar, are you okay? Help me, the giant tore me apart. Cedar looks terrible. I mean, she's alive, but she still looks terrible. You're alive? I don't know, one second I was being stabbed in the throat, and then the next I'm being torn apart by a giant. She hid my hands and my legs throughout the room. You need to find them. Come on, everyone, we need to look around. Wait a minute, I found a leg. Here's your leg. It's on, thank you. Now quickly, find my other leg. Eager much? I found a hand. Good as new, keep it up. Just found another hand. Just one more leg, come on. Found it. I'm whole again, thank you guys. We're happy you're back, Cedar. I am too, but how am I alive? We had the choice to bring someone back and we chose you. So you brought me back to life to the place where I died. I mean, technically you did die in the book. You get my point. Well, that's another way to say it. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the fact that I'm alive again, but like here, come on. Also, what happened to Operetta? After our interaction with Captain Angelica, we were stranded on Mermaid Cove. After that, two of us had to go in a challenge with the siren. Michelle, right? 
Yes, but the thing is, Michelle was under some kind of influence by the Enchantress and she killed Operetta. Damn, I'm sorry to hear that. What happened to Michelle? Did she die? Oh, heavens no. We freed her from the spell and she gave us the book to bring you back. Well, that's nice. So Michelle's the reason why I'm alive. Basically. Anyways, I'm sure you guys noticed by now, but you saw that she had a shield, right? Yes, that's the solo object we're looking for. <gasps> Come back now! Looks like it's time to go. Rebecca, what's going on with that other lady? Oh, her? That's Miss Goodman. She kind of just appeared out of nowhere. Is she trustable? I hope so. Abby gets bad vibes from that woman. I agree with Abby on this. <gasps> help me! Help me! She has Rosalia tied up, chicas. I've decided on your challenge. Two people will be selected by vote to try to defeat me. Whoever defeats me first will get the shield. Now select two to vote. Now! I'll call you up one by one. Pick the person you want to go into the challenge. Wait, I have a better idea. What is it? Let's just all put one card in for ourselves. We'd all be voting for ourselves. That's the point. It would be random. No hard feelings, right? I don't like this idea. Come on, guys. We should do it. I agree. I do, too. Abby and I don't want to. I'm sorry, ladies, but majority rules. Briar, put one card for each of us. Okay. The first person to be going into the challenge is... Gigi. Again? The second person to be going in will be... Abby. I was surprised by Abby. We've selected our two. Alright, everyone else, let's go. I don't think so. I want you all to watch this. This is interesting. This is my first time watching someone else do a challenge. Both of you can pick a weapon, but I only have two options. It's either a shield or a lasso. Pick your poison. I'll go with the shield. Good, cause I was taking the lasso either way. Abby wants a combat weapon, not a defense. You don't stand a chance. That's where you're wrong. Ah! <laughs> Maybe we're better with these weapons than we thought, wouldn't you think, Abby? I agree fully. Don't get too arrogant. <clears throat> Whoa! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> That's it! Uh, yeah! That same trick won't work twice. Whoa! Let go of me! Now you know what it feels like. Abby has her distracted. Maybe I could do something. Huh? Whoa! Oh god. At the principal's office. You still wrecked my court. That claim is a lie. Order to the court. Order to the court. Please lay out your claims. I never thought I would be judging myself. I am truly accusing Claudine Wolf of destroying property. Claudine, is this claim true? Not at all. Oh, shut up. You know damn well it's true. No, it's not. I'll fuck you up. You I didn't wreck your court. I don't the understand fact that you why you make oh, me so lying. That's it. I'm done here. Bye. Now I see what Claudine, I mean, I meant by eternal torment. Hard to deal with yourself, isn't it? Who the hell are you? Well, I'm you, of course. I don't mean that. I haven't seen you before. That's because all the Claudines here, they resemble a part of you. So what part would you be? I'm the hero in you, of course. I'm already a hero. I work for the society. That is true, but... That is just a job. You haven't found the true hero in you. What the fuck are you talking about? I think you know damn well what I'm talking about. I don't need your help. I'm a hero on my own. We both know you're lying. You're always hiding behind someone else. How dare you? I'm independent. Think about it. Are you really, though? Whenever you're on a society mission, you're always dependent on Rosabella. It was your dumbass that got trapped by the Enchantress in the first place. And it's your dumbass who's responsible for Lizzie being imprisoned. You're not a hero. You're just a coward, Claudine. Enough! I'm not hiding behind anyone, and I'm not a coward. Are you sure? Think it through again. Oh my god, you're right. I'm not the hero I'm meant to be. I'm not reaching my full potential. You're finally aware of it, which is good. Congratulations, you passed the test. 
What do you mean by that? When the enchantress puts you to sleep, she put a special spell. Whoever's under the spell will be put to sleep until they face their greatest fears. And you faced yours. The fear of admitting your flaws. You're going to wake up soon. But until then, I'd like to congratulate you. We, we all would. would. Wait, what? <sighs> ah, Claudine, what happened? They all fused into you. But what about you? Well, now it's time for me to fuse into you. Just know if you ever need the hair on you, I'm right here. My titty? You hot, you dumb bitch. Oh. <sighs> beep, 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 beep. Oh my god, what the hell happened? And what the hell am I wearing? Lizzie? I got you into this. But don't worry, I'll save you soon. And EC? How did she get here? I thought she survived. Whatever, I sense someone's in trouble. I'll save you both, I promise. How the hell did she escape the spell? She will pay for this. ha <laughs> I could kill any of you at any second. In fact, that's exactly what I'll do. I'll get to kill two people instead of one. Help me. Someone save Abby! And no one's getting the shield. We made a deal. Oopsies, well, I went back on the deal. You see, I know damn well that if you destroy the shield, you destroy me. And I don't want that happening anytime soon. Ugh! Ow! She's going to kill them! <laughs> Fist of the Beast Queen. Ugh! Ugh! She drops the shield. The shield, get it! Give me that shield. Run, quickly! Run! <laughs> She killed Gigi! Now give me back that shield before I kill another of you. I don't think so. Full moonlight! Ah! <sighs> What's happening to me? What's going on? I'm burning! <laughs> no! You killed her. I didn't kill her. She wasn't real. It makes sense. Abby is right. Has anyone ever wondered that when you destroy a gold soul object, the monster dies right away? It's cause they're her personal lieutenants, her creations. If the magic that brought them to life dies, so do they. It's known that if you kill someone with your powers, then your magic turns dark. Luckily for me, I didn't kill something real, so my magic will be fine. Now as for you, let's get you untied up. Oh, thank you! What can I call? You can call me Wonder Wolf. Oh, thank you, Wonder Wolf. You're all good now. Since you're still trapped here, find a place to lay low until all this is over. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I must go now. So the question is, Claudine, how did you get here? Let's just say I was sent on a mission. I freed you guys, but then I had to pay the price. I was trapped by the Enchantress, but then I was freed. Anyways, let's destroy the soul object. <sighs> it's been destroyed. We would like to give you the shield for saving us. That's a beautiful shield, but I don't think I can accept. You don't have a fucking choice. Take the shield. Okay, then. Come on, everyone. Let's get back to the lounge. Another soul object found. 